Hello Squids, this is Squeevy here with another 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 Java 3D tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to texture map in um, JOGL Java. So I went ahead and I made the startup code. It's the same code from tutorial one. It just pretty much draws a, an object, but we're going to be putting a texture on that object. Let me show you the object real quick. Oh, this thing never loads. Yeah, see it's the same object, and we're gonna be putting an image on this object and you can do this with many things you can you know put this on UT Utah teapots you can you know put this on spheres objects so it's actually a very useful skill so yeah let's get started with texture mapping um first we need our image I have my logo here on my desktop yeah I'm gonna clean up my desktop don't worry so I'm gonna copy that and I'm going to go into the source folder of my Java project you can access this by saying, like, it, this is another workspace for other tutorials. If you go here, if you just upload the workspace, or upload, I'm sorry, I'm tired. If you just um, double click on the workspace, you go to your project, and here's the source. You're going to put the image, so you're going to copy the image and paste it in your source folder. That's pretty self-explanatory. If you know Java, that should be pretty simple if you have worked with Eclipse before. And then you're going to go here and hit a 5 if you have a, if you have a PC. I mean, it's the same if you have a Mac or a Linux. It doesn't really matter. Or, I don't think there are any actual Linux hardwares. I think it's all NVIDIA. I don't know. All right. Anyways, so we've done that. I've done a really bad job with explaining it. So say stuff in the comments because that was really terrible explanations. But let's let's jump right into it. So you need to start by doing this. And this this will make sense in a second. Just need to what? Hey. Behave. There. Yay. Alright, so once you do that, you go down under the GL dot GL load identity and you do if so this is pretty much if text is equal to equal to null. So it's always going to run this. And this may seem redundant at first, but it will make sense in a second. You want to do file img say equals new file. And it's squeeve.png. Or jpg. JPEG. It's a JPEG file. Good. I like calling it JPG or PNG, it's just kind of fun. And you're gonna import that. So we have two new imports. And you're gonna move on with doing no text te text equals texture io dot new texture image true. Okay, there we go. I'm explaining what this does in a second. So that is not true. There we go. It should give you an error. Good. And you want to surround that with a try and a catch. There we go. Now down here, just below the catch statement, you're going to do text dot enable and text dot bind. So that's actually fairly simple. So I'm going to explain everything I just did in better detail. So I copied the image over into my into the entire project. You don't want to put it in your source folder. That's a bad idea. You want to put it in the entire project. Then I set up the texture library and I set the texture object equal to null so there's no image. And then while it's null, so I'm not, I'm sorry, not while, if you're going to check if it's null and if it is null, which is always, you're going to make a new file image, set that equal to a new file, the image you copied over, and in a try my god, why is there a multi-catch? You know what, I'm not even going to go into there. It's a multi-catch, whatever. Try multi-catch. You're going to set texture equal to texture io dot new texture. So it's not always null. It's only null if it hasn't run the if the if statement yet. And the reason you can't just set the, set the thing up here is because you need to surround it in a try and catch, and it'll give you error after error after error. It'll just be confusing and weird. Then you enable the texture and you bind it to the object. So now we need to go put it in the object. You've got, you're going to do g, um, gl dot 
GL. Hello. Gonna work any day? Okay, thank you. Te text cord two double. It does not stand for two dimensions, it stands for two double. And we're going to set it equal to the same the same as the first two coordinates of your vertex. And then you can begin the art of copy and pasting. Okay. So this should work, and if we run it, Oh, because it's a dark image. So maybe we don't want to use this image because it's a bit dark. I have another image called utah.jpg and it actually has some color. So we need to go here and we need to paste that in. And we need to get rid of squeeva. Yeah, get rid of that copy. And up here where it has squeeva.png, you want to do utah. Oh, I want to keep saying PNG. It's, it, they're JPEG files. And um, I was using this for another thing. Oh, well, that didn't work. And it didn't work because it's a multi catch, which it's not supposed to be. So we can just get rid of that. We can do text equals texture io dot new texture image true. And this should make everything dandy. Okay. No. Yeah, not just not gonna work. Just don't don't not really up to the task. I understand. I understand. Hold a second. Okay, it was a really stupid mistake, and it's because we set everything to the same coordinate. That should solve all our problems, and we can go ahead and get our squeeva back, but we're not going to do that, because that takes time. Yeah, and you can see this looks really awkward and disgusting, but you can fix this by... You can see the image, right? Kind of right there in that little corner, and then it mutilates. But you can... Because the, um, the image is kind of small, so maybe... Uh, maybe we just go back and we get this again. We go here. We... Just kind of delete that copy. Yeah. And we paste that back in. We go here. We refresh. Turns into Squeeva again. Change back that that back to being Squeeva.jpg. God, I love saying it so much. It's so fun to say. Yeah, and you get a line. So it's still super mutilated, but it's a different image. So yes, what you can do is you can go by and you can change it so say if we change this to change that to zero and this to zero and we go in to here see it looks a bit different right so you can just kind of spend a really long while playing with the coordinates and eventually you'll get it right it's better if you have seamless images so maybe you can make a, a repetitious thing but this is how you texture map and um, if I do blog the code for this I will fix it to look normal but just kind of e first you gotta size the image maybe to be the same as the size of your object and then once you've done that you should you should probably just kind of, you know, draw it out on paper and draw the image, and you should know. Just keep playing with the corners. Just keep changing the corners until you get it right. I mean, that is how you do it. But I'm running out of time. I have, like, 50 seconds left, so I can't fix it. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, and you should have questions because I didn't really explain this very well, say so in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, check out the channels of the other squids, and I need to change a few squids because my friends made a new YouTube channel. So, goodbye.